Right, grade elevens. Today we are looking at grouping when it comes to your reports. So for that, we're just going to create a basic report, and I'm going to show you how you can do your grouping inside of your report wizard. Um, there is another way when you are done with that, but I'll show you that once we are finished. So let's go to our report wizard, and again, we just want to make sure that it's based on whichever table we want. And I'm going to take in artist. I'm going to take in ED name, genre, owner, and replacement value. That's all fine. So this is where you do the grouping when you are creating a report. And um, based on what they usually ask you to do in the papers, this is where you will do this. So you can see if I select artist and I click on my arrow over there, now my report will be, when it's done, it will be grouped according to the artist. If I click on genre and I put genre in, you can see it's underneath artist, but a little bit over to the right, as if it's like a subsection of that. So now what's going to happen is that my report, when it's done, is going to be grouped according to artist first. And then within artist, it's going to be grouped according to the genre. We do have a number of grouping options. If I click on that over there, um, we've got our group level fields. They're asking us which, or sorry, what grouping intervals do you want for the group level fields? And we can say what we want. We want it. I mean, intervals of the first letter, et cetera, things like that. Generally in grade 11, you don't have to worry about that yet. We go next. Then do we want it sorted? Yes or no? If we don't, we just leave it as is. You will select whatever layout you want to. Click next. And I'm just going to go with um, report example. There you can see my report is grouped according to artist first and then the the uh, genre okay now let's say you've created your report and you haven't uh, done any sort of grouping so i'm going to go to report example yes here it is and i realized oh my word i did not actually you know do any grouping on this you can go to your design view okay so once you're in design view then we're going to go up to report the report design tab Go over to the left to group and sort. And I'm going to click on that. So what that does is it brings up this whole uh, dialogue area over here. This is my area for grouping, sorting, and putting totals into my report. So here you can see, I can say, well, group on artist, no. I actually want it grouped on the, uh, let's see, on the replacement value. From smallest to largest, Yes um by the entire value yeah that seems fine and i can go click on more and say well i actually want totals i want a total on the replacement value i want this particular formula to be used i want to show a grand total you know maybe a subtotal um in in the group header or in the group footer or even show a subtotal as a percentage so this is where you've got all these different options and once you are done, you can just go back to your report view. And there you can see now um, I've got my different values in there as my replacement value. Um, did I put a tick in that? No, I actually think I didn't. Let's go back to the, des the design view. Replacement value, more, ah, no totals. So I didn't say a total, the replacement value. We're going to use some grand total, subtotal in the group header. That should be fine. There you can see that's coming into play now, the formulas. Click on report, and there you can see I've now got uh, or just ginger as the artist. I've got the genre, and then I've got my replacement value um, subtotal over there. And I should then at the bottom also have my grand total. Okay, so um, that's how we can do grouping and sorting. Well, that's just a grouping. Yeah, you can see. I can then also go and add another group that I want to uh, group things on. Right? I can go and add another group. I can add a sort field as well to say, listen, I want to sort things based on CD name with A on top. In other words, from A to Z or Z to A. And there's a number of different options here as well. And this is where we get our grouping and sorting and totals as well so if you haven't done it through the report wizard don't panic you can just go to this section 
and you can group and sort and do whatever you need to from this. Remember, report design, group and sort.